Hey, what's up everybody? Chris McCarthy, HiJRT.com, and today I want to explain to you exactly how I got down to 3% body fat without dieting. And to be honest with you, I wasn't even consciously trying to reach this goal. It just happened naturally based on some changes I made in my life. So a little bit of background. First off, a couple months ago, I had the opportunity to have a body analysis check done on an in-body 230 machine and the results came in, and then a couple weeks later, I had another opportunity to have another test done on the same type of machine, the InBody 230, uh, at a different location. The results came in, the numbers were almost identical. So basically, I'm assuming that this machine is number one accurate, and I can trust these results. So if you'll see right here, the body fat percentage came in, I'm not sure, I'll zoom in a little bit here. If you can see that, body fat percentage came in at 3%. So how exactly did I get down there? And first off, I want to let you know that I am not lean naturally. Um, as a matter of fact, years ago, I had another body fat percentage test done and it came in a little bit over 18%. So it's, this isn't natural for me, but I attribute it to some changes that I had recently made in my life over the past few years. So the three factors that I made in my life was number one, workouts, number two, my nutrition, and number three, my routine. So first off, the workouts. Obviously, I was working out. There's no way you're gonna get down to this without actually working out. But the type of workouts I was doing was high intensity interval training. The exact same workouts that I program every single day here on HiJRT.com. I would begin jump rope training, high intensity conditioning, high intensity cardio, and I would move immediately after I would do say maybe a minute of that or 50 double unders, I would move immediately into a strength training exercise. I would do uh, high reps at a lower weight. So that would either be with dumbbells, a kettlebell, a med ball, or just body weight exercise. Once I was done with my set and my reps of that, I would move immediately back into, onto that jump rope and do some more of those conditioning. And I would interval back and forth nonstop on these. Now, the workouts would normally last anywhere from only 15 to 30 minutes. And I did these workouts once a day, and I would do them every single day of the week. So that's the workouts I did, high JRT, high intensity interval training uh, between the jump rope and uh, some strength exercises. Now, next was my nutrition. Now, I mentioned that I wasn't dieting uh, during this, and I, I wasn't dieting at all. Actually, I was eating more, and I was eating more often. The difference was the type of food that I was eating, the quality food I was eating. Typically, my day consists of about two to three meals of lean chicken breast, um, broccoli, and brown rice. Now, those would be two or three of the bigger meals throughout the day. Breakfast would consist of about six or seven egg whites, some turkey bacon, and some fruit. Now, in between all those meals, I was supplementing with snacks, and I was eating every 60 to 90 minutes a day. So I was eating something constantly, so I never felt hungry, I never felt like I was being deprived of anything at all. The difference was the type of snacks that I was eating. The type of snacks I was eating was fruits and nuts, some beef jerky, protein bars, protein shakes, um, things like that, or maybe another chicken breast, some lean meat, things like that, uh, that are healthy. But I was eating them every 60 to 90 minutes a day, keeping my body fueled and making sure that I wasn't getting hungry at all throughout the day. The third factor that I want to talk about was my routine. And I'm, I'm big on routines. I'm big on having a, a set schedule. Um, I, I try to be as efficient with my time as possible. I hate wasting time. Uh, what I realized is say on a Wednesday night, I'd be going to bed at 9 p.m. My body would naturally wake up right around 4.30 uh, in the morning without an alarm clock. So I assessed that seven and a half hours was my optimal time of sleep for my body to rest. So what I did is I applied that same schedule to every single night of the week. So whether it was a Wednesday night, a Friday night, a Saturday night, I was going to bed at 9 p.m. and I was just waking up naturally at 4.30 in the morning. Now this kept me on this schedule, not only just with my sleep, but it kept me on my nutrition, my meal plan, my eating schedule. So by waking up at 4.30 in the morning, I was able to have that first meal at 5 a.m. no matter what day of the week it was. It's when you go out at night or you, you stay 
stay up on a Saturday night till 1, 2 a.m. in the morning, and then you sleep in through the day till 9 or 10 in the morning, you're disrupting the natural body, your, the function of your body, and you're disrupting that schedule. So your body's wondering, where is this food that I would normally be eating at 5 a.m.? I can't get this. Well, you know what I have to do? I better start storing some fat. So by maintaining the schedule that I had done, I just kept my body in tune and I kept it on schedule. So that was, those are the three factors basically that, you know, I made, or the three changes I made in my life that allowed me to just kind of naturally get down to 3% body fat without dieting. I never felt deprived, I never felt hungry, I never felt like I was dieting. And, and the key thing is, these are three factors that I can easily maintain throughout the rest of my life. I don't feel as though I'm dieting, so I don't feel as though I'm depriving myself that I'm gonna slip up. Um, these are things that I can do throughout the rest of my life without a problem uh, because I enjoy doing them. So thanks a lot, guys. I hope this helped kind of explain a little bit to you. Um, if you want to actually uh, check out HighJRT.com to learn a little bit more about this, we've got a bunch of workouts on there and actually the workouts that I do every single day here. Learn a little bit more about nutrition. Join the JRT gym. We've got some workout customizers on there. We've got some exercise videos on there. We have a full training program. So make sure you check out that. Hope this helped, guys. I will talk to you later.